But look, man, it's Rosh back with another reaction video. Today we got a video from Benny Johnson. Um, title of this one is History Trump Throws Largest Political Rally Ever Seen in America, 100,000 in the Blue State. I don't even know what a blue state is. If y'all know, could y'all let me know in the comments? But this gotta be a plain view. And all of them people out there, man, this look like a the start of a rock concert. No lie, it's a lot of people out there. I can't wait to get into this. But if y'all new to the channel, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to this video. What's up guys, boy Benny. We don't talk about music festivals a lot on this channel, but look at this image snapped of Burning Man in the desert from a plane passing over. Really impressive. Look at all the people, thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people waiting to get in for this monster music festival that everybody That's writes up, the biggest people. music festival ever in the desert. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just, <laughs> that's a photo of the Trump rally yesterday in a blue state in New Jersey. This is a photo of the Trump rally yesterday in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Not a music festival. It's a political rally. In fact, this is the biggest political rally in American history. We'll wait to see what the records books show, but apparently 100,000 people attended this rally. Look at this. This is insane. This is in a blue state. This is an entire blue region. It's not like it's not like this is connected to Texas. Yeah. But they're good. Okay. They're really Look at the size of the crowd. So Donald Trump breaks records yesterday, having the biggest campaign rally in United States history. Trump blasts Biden, total moron, before a crowd of 100,000 in New Jersey. 100,000 people. Trump continues to smash and break records, whether it's fundraising or whether it's just having the moxie to defeat 91 different federal charges. Donald Trump, by the way, breaking all of those cases in half like Bane broke Batman. Trump blasts Biden as total moron before a crowd of 100,000 in New Jersey. The whole world is laughing at him. This is from the New York Post. Look at the size. Look at the size of this. This is at an amusement park in New Jersey called Wildwood. The people were pouring in for days. People camped out for days. Whoa. And you can see, obviously, Donald Trump in absolute peak form. Look at, first off, the size of the crowd. Donald Trump's crowd at the New Jersey rally. This is in a blue state. When Joe, when Joe Biden goes to blue states, he can't get 10 hundred people yet fox news is sitting here reporting yesterday the biggest trump rally we have ever seen this was uh, aired live on fox check this out hey, this is what a typical trump rally i would say would look like right full you got a ton of people here that have been here like i said for hours but if we walk behind and take you through where the press is this is the astounding part here this is one of the largest trump rallies i've ever been to in the last uh, five That's years or so, you can see just thousands of people uh, in the back here. And most of those. I mean, that's really, really impressive, honestly. The, 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 the fact that there are there was a small, like sort of an, an average grouping of tens of thousands of people around Trump. And then you can roll through, you can you spin the cameras around and you'll actually be able to see the full extent of the rally. It is remarkable. You can see, I think, actually best from the air. I mean, because the, the, it's hard. I mean, this first image I used joking about Burning Man. So yeah, you have Trump's rally up here, and then you have the press right here, if you can see with my cursor there. And then you have all of this that got filled in back here. And then this is not empty space. This is the line to get in. So this is Whoa. still the line to get in. And this is where the Secret Service checks people. And this is filled. This was completely Whoa. packed. This is bigger than... Uh, college football games, bigger than NBA games. I mean, it is, uh, it is, it is just wow. It is wow. This is what it looked like with Donald Trump arriving at Wildwood, New Jersey. Again, Wildwood, New Jersey is a town in New Jersey, uh, famous for uh, being on the beach and having um, a boardwalk and amusement park. You see the people cheering 
for Donald Trump. You can see the police officers uh, standing at attention and the Trump flags being waved. This is, again, Donald Trump's arrival in New Jersey. Hey, this was amazing. This was amazing. He hit a record. 100,000 people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That looked like that looked like everybody getting ready to rock and roll. That's for for a rally. That's a lot of people. People lining the streets, cheering, waving Trump flags. The officers uh, waving as well. That's pretty great. It's always great to see that. And they yeah. In line so in. compare and contrast that with Joe Biden's arrival in San Francisco yesterday. Here's Joe Biden going through San Francisco. This is from the pool. Of course, Joe Biden wouldn't want, doesn't want to, to you to see this, but you can see here that that this is in a uh, very. This is I know exactly what this is. This is in a very heavily heavy foot trafficked area of San Francisco. Do you see a single Biden flag? So there's Nobody. a bunch of people that are just naturally there. No flags. No signs. No nobody. Nobody there. A lot of people that are obviously walking on this road all the time. Um, it's a big park where a bunch of people exercise. Like, do you see any? Do you see a single Biden flag? Anything inside the most Democrat city in America? Nothing. Do you see anything? Do you see anything? Do you see any bad flags? Do you see anybody cheering? Yeah. Just a just a little just a little compare and contrast there with <laughs> with Donald Trump and tell me like <laughs> tell me which of these guys is president okay President Trump enters his rally with a massive uh, they have the massive jets and and smoke and uh, few like I had I don't think actual flames I don't think they'd allow that <laughs> uh, but yeah pretty epic campaign entrance uh, campaign rally entrance yesterday Donald Trump walking. Uh, walking the line, the man, when the man comes to town, 100,000 people there. Then Donald Trump just went, just went ham from the stage, uh, making some really, making some really funny jokes. Here, here are some of our favorites. Look at the economy, the real economy, not the fake economy. Everything they touch turns to what? You shouldn't use that kind of language. Look, look. <laughs> You can't use the word <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the moment that actually caught the most viral attention online is two NFL legends, Lawrence Taylor and Otis Anderson, jumping up on stage and saying, hey, uh, I grew up Democrat. I've always been a Democrat until I met this man right here. Listen to these guys. Make the crowd go wild. I grew up a Democrat. And I've always been a Democrat until I met this man right here. I'll tell you what. He will not have to worry about nobody in my family ever vote for a Democrat again. Okay. Don't you just love that guy? Don't you just love that guy? I tell you, it has been a very exciting day. You guys, not one person left here. You're still here yelling and screaming. So my word is Wildwood, are you in the house? I, no, I can't hear you. Wildwood, are you in the house? Thank you guys for all your support. And how about a great shout out for Metro Exhibit, baby. We made it all happen. All the cost of you. Thank you. So, yeah, the Trump crowd just absolutely nice. unbelievably impressive. It's, it's like hard to capture via cameras. People were flying God bless Trump Whoa. signs over the rally. Uh, <laughs> Joe Biden is going to lose his <laughs> shit. He got the planes flying the signs. He got people on the street with signs. Bruh, 100,000 people, man. Hey. Hey, man, we need an exact number because I'm telling y'all, that's over 100,000 people. Plus the people that was on the side, plus the people that was outside. Like, hey. <laughs> For sure, they all didn't fit inside. 
For sure. When he wakes up in the morning and finds President Trump turned out 100,000 people at a rally in New Jersey. <laughs> says <laughs> Donald Trump, senior advisor, Jason Miller, largest political rally in American history. Way to go, President Trump, largest political rally in American history. Final thing here, Donald Trump talking about Chris Christie. Oh, my gosh, this is really funny. Uh, <laughs> let's let the president speak for himself. That's like Christie. You know Chris Christie. Does anybody like Chris Christie? Good. Chris Chris who, who name did he say? Who is she? I, I don't even know who she is. Hey man, if y'all know who she is, hey, can y'all let me know who she is in the comments? Hold up. What happened? What happened with her? I gotta go. What? This is crazy. Let me take it back some. What was her name? Christy, you know Chris Christie. Does anybody like Chris, Chris Christie? Christy? Good. So I was in New Hampshire and he was fighting, fighting. You know, he's like uh, totally unhinged. It's called Trump derangement syndrome. I would say he was a he was a major case of Trump derangement syndrome. But he was in there and somebody from the front row said, "Sir, he's a fat pig." And I said, but nobody heard. The person was a nice person, but said very, you know. Hey, no lie. I like the way Trump talk. I like the way Trump talk. Hey. Sir, he's a fat pig. Sir, he's a fat pig. And I said, but nobody heard. The person was a nice person, but said very, you know. I said, you cannot call Chris Christie a fat pig. You cannot do that. Please, sir. If you call him a fat pig once more, I'm going to have to have you leave the arena. And the guy didn't know what was happening. I said, don't worry about it. I'm only kidding. You know? But I said, you cannot call him a fat pig because you're not allowed to use the fat word. You know, you can use almost any word, but you can't use the fat word. It's career ending. If you, if you call somebody fat, it's career ending. We're all fat. Wouldn't be a, a, a complete night without a Donald Trump dance sign off. The Donald Trump dance on fire. The full. There we go. Okay. Perfect it. Yeah. Did he hit it though? He hit that. He hit that. It's, 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 do he always do that dance? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Do he always do the dance every time he had like a speech or something like that? He hit that. Fire. The full. There we go. Okay. And he, Perfect it. He, yeah. Massive, massive crowd of a hundred thousand people. This was a, a this was a poignant this was a poignant uh, tweet here from uh, Scott Pressler, who we just love. Three young men were just walking, singing the Star Spangled Banner on the boardwalk. Patriotism is on the rise. Just th just three just three chads, three chads just walking down the boardwalk singing the Star Spangled Banner. That is the country you want to live in, ladies and gentlemen. New Jersey is in play. Donald Trump says New York is in play. Donald Trump said Minnesota is in play and that they are going to win. A sea of red. What would you call that? You call that a red wave. Let's manifest that. That's 2024 and go save America. It's your boy, Benny. Hey, that was a lot of people out there. That was a lot of people, man. No lie. No lie, man. Shout out Benny, man. Shout out, Benny. This was a good video. A real good video. Hey, um, hey, man, if y'all can let me know anything else about this, man, could y'all let me know in the comments? But if y'all new, man, comment, like, subscribe. But I'll catch y'all on the next video.